Morning, Nick from Meat Smoke Fire here on a beautiful sunny day. What happened? Yesterday we had a class. Oh, hello, Helena's like interrupting. Top left, move, top left, up here. Oh, got it. Anyway, sorry about that. Yeah. God. She's got the iPad upside down, that's why. Anyway, oh, should we start again? Morning, Nick from Meat Smoke Fire. <laughs> Oh, She's out of practice. We've got Andrea who's out of practice. Oh, anyway. Yeah, what happened? It was beautiful. Well, not beautiful. It was too hot yesterday. And then today, it's, well, it's not peeling it down with rain, but it's not very nice. Anyway, um, you all seem to love all the snacky things last week. Um, so we thought we'd do some more snacky things, if that makes sense. Um, so we are going to do three dishes, two of which I've already started, sort of, and one I've nearly finished, sort of. But you'll see why. It's a bit like Blue Peter. Here's one I made earlier. So um, we're going to do some sweet potato wedges because they're dead easy. Everybody loves them. And I don't have to worry about them. So those are on. So that egg over there has those already on. And we're just going to season them. Go with those. Um, because the other two dishes are a bit more complicated. So we had a request yesterday from one of the guys. Uh, were we going to do pizza during the class yesterday? We didn't. But we will do some mini Turkish pizzas today. Um, so we're going to do some, some of those and we're also then going to go to Germany. So we've got a Moroccan theme on those, we've got a Turkish theme on there and we've got a German theme on our Bittenbollen, which are basically a bit like Spanish croquetas. Um, so you make a roux and then you roll it in flour and then we're going to deep fry those. So those are the ones I've sort of already made because you've got to do different bits at different times. Anyway, that's where we're going to go. Give me the camera. <laughs> She's back. Morning. And we've been really kind to her. So after five weeks off, oh, we, you had four. we're giving her next week off as well. Only because I'm going away. So Don't anyway. Don't is mine. <laughs> Thank you, Andy. You're we welcome. love you. Um, on the, in the, we're under the canopy. We're under the Renson. But in here, Helena on typing. And then indoors somewhere. Oh, she's just wandering around. She's get, grabbing her iPad, but she's in there. Um, in the bar, indoor bar, we've got Mama with a wine. She's got wine. She's fine. So there you go. Right, I'll hand you back. Uh, which way do you want it? That, that way. way. Thank you. Perfect. Right, let's have a look at our wedges and we'll get that done. Or oh, no, we'll do this bit first, Andy. Okay. So in my um, mortar and pestle, I've got some uh, coriander seeds and some fennel seeds. So we're just going to give those a good zhuzh up, crush them down a bit. Make the whole table shake. I want to add in there a little bit of salt, so I'm just going to put a teaspoon or so of salt in there and some cayenne just to give them a bit of a zing. So, a little bit, probably half a teaspoon ish, teaspoon, whatever, cayenne. Give the, that the zhuzh around. It's all nicely mixed and we'll go and put them on. So, over here. I have some sweet, sorry Andy, <laughs> sweet potato that I've chopped into chunky chip sizes. I've got them in a cast iron pan, so on a big green eggs, normal cast iron pans. We've got the convector in there, we've got a stainless steel, we've got the cast iron pan on top. And now I just want to season them, so I'm going to get some of this. Get it all over the top of them. And these are sort, they're in a bit of oil. Um, I'm just going to grab a glove, so I can hold the pan. And we're just going to give them a zhuzh with all of that over the top of them. The little bit of oil will fry them, will bake them. Um, it's an indirect cook and we're at about 200 degrees, roughly. So there we go. So we're just going to leave them now. That's the last you'll see of them until they're done. I might give them a zhuzh halfway through. Don't Perfect. forget you wanted reminding about yes. that egg on. So over on this end, we are, I've got a frying pan in here. And I've just started to cook off some mince. So this is lamb mince. Um, this is what's going to go on our Turkish pizzas. So you can see it's just chucking out a bit of juice at the moment. It's just breaking down. Just wanted to start it cooking. Um, and then we're going to add some onion to that and a whole bunch of other stuff. So I probably need to turn this egg up a little bit. It's not cooking that quickly at the moment. It's got a bit fatty. The fat's coming out, so I'll give that a couple of minutes. In fact, it's looking good underneath there. I'll leave it as is. Right, so back here, Andy. You're going all the way, a long way around. Mm -hmm. Right, let's get rid of our 
mortar and pestle. So, the lamb mince is gonna go on the top of our pizzas. I have already made a dough. So this is a slightly different um, bread dough. Uh, it's using plain flour instead of strong flour. So we'll see how that goes. It's the first time I've tried it. Um, but that's already, I made that. It's, otherwise it's pretty much the same recipe as my normal bread, uh, just using plain flour. So we'll use, roll that out later. But let's get on with this bit and ballon. So, um, these are like little um, uh, croquetas, but they've got meat uh, in them, they've got mints in them, and so on. So, in this pan, we've got um, carrot, uh, we've got onion, we've got some celery, uh, half a bay leaf. The I'm doing half the recipe because I've already done half, the other half and made it. Oh, that's smoky. And into that, we're going to put some beef stock. So going in and what we want to do is start warming that through getting those to melt down in there so i'm going to pop this straight in but not yeah uh yeah next to our lamp so that'll start to cook that okay right um let me get everything set so we're good there right our lamp to our lamb, we are going to add some onions because we need to fry those down. We're going to add a chopped tomato. So the onions will go in, it will start to fry down for a bit. Then we're going to add some um, tomato, some pine nuts. So I've got about 40 grams of pine nuts. I've got some um, spices. Sorry, everything is wrapped because it was windy earlier. But now it's lovely and still. So I've got um, some cinnamon and some allspice. Uh, we're going to top them with a bit of coriander, a bit of lemon going in as well. So I mustn't forget that. I'll put that in with that. Uh, and we've got a bit of Greek yogurt to go on the top. So that'll be delicious. Can you just do a little recap? Because we have quite a few people joining. Okay. So recap of what we're doing. We have sweet potato wedges or fries or whatever, but with a coriander, fennel uh, and cayenne rub over them to give them a bit of zing. We have, uh, we're going to do some Turkish pizzas, so mini pizzas that are folded up into like little boats and into them you put um, some mints. So this is the mints that we're making. Uh, we, and the last one is bitten ballon, which is a little croquetas almost. So like, um, it's basically a roux, but with mints in it, um, beef, flavored with beef. Um, and we're gonna do those and we're gonna deep fry those. So again, it's, it's nibbles, a bit like last week. Is that all right, Helen? Yes. Right, so let's give this lamb a, a druge. Sorry, I thought, for some reason, I thought that was a bit of a lamb and I got confused. Right, so our mince is cooking, browning off a little bit. Might have to speed this through to get it all done. So I'm going to chuck in our onions in that. So let me get this. It's just one onion. So we'll mix it in. And these now are going to take about five or ten minutes just to soften up. So we'll get it mixed in, we want both of those softening. The lamb's gonna brown and break up a little bit. It's got a carrot, some celery, um, some onion and a bay leaf. And what we're gonna do is use that stock then to make our roux. Does that make sense? Perfect. So I'll put these out of the way. And what we can do is show you what happens. I'm gonna sort of do it backwards because um, there's a lot to do here. Right, so in my fridge. So I'm gonna do the last bit of this first because we've got a gap, which is, you know, um, but while those cook, I've got time to do this and then I'll show you the rest. So when you have made, this is for our bit and ballon. What's up? Really noisy birds. Oh. <laughs> They're always kicking. I should ask, any questions, any <coughs> comments, any... What did everyone cook yesterday in the heat? Anyway. Right, so when you've made the roux, you make this roux, it's like a brown colour, because um, it's got the mints in there, it's got all of those veg that we, we take out, we put them back in. Um, you put this in the fridge overnight to cool and to set. And then we're going to do like heat tape teaspoon sizes, so that sort of size, roll them into a ball, like that. Roll them in some breadcrumbs. Roll them in the egg. So this is just a beaten egg. 
roll them back in the breadcrumbs, and then I'll put them to one side. So I may as well just use this. It's probably going to make three this little bit left. So we'll make three, and then I'll show you the others. What we'll do is we'll put these in and see if you actually do need to put them in the fridge again. Because we've always done it, but back in there. Try and do this with one hand, otherwise it gets really sticky. And then we'll do the last one. Any comments, Helena? Not yet. What are you typing? I'm just saying hello to huh? Who have we got on? Uh, right, hang on. Uh, now we're going to write a question. Oh. <laughs> um, Not only is, you know. Uh, so, uh, we've, we've got, got Phil oh, Nurse. Morning, Phil. Uh, we've got Sue Stone. Morning, Sue. Um, we had a guy, and I can't remember the name, it's Fish and Chip Shop. I can't remember the name. It begins with a K. Oh. Um, the fish and chip shop in Exmouth, he was on the class yesterday, so I told Tim. him to look you up. Tim or someone, huh? Tim. She'll know. Right, uh, we have got Rob Widley, we've got Alex Pemberton, we've got Nick Turpin, we've got Karen Trular. Morning, Nick, Alex, and Karen. Uh, Artola Lifestyle. Morning, Artola Lifestyle. John Maskell, Dustin Barbecue. Bib Noodle Bar, the Irish. Oh, morning, Bib Noodle Bar in Coventry. I still got to get there. Martin Hawkins. Morning, Martin. Adam Brown. Who's been to Martin's already been to Borough Fish Market this morning. Oh, okay. So I mean that's dedication. He was up early. Uh, Although I'm going fishing with him shortly, and uh, I'm going to be up really early. Uh, Charlie Goldring. Morning, Charlie. Ben and Ellis Farm Shop. Morning, Ben and Ellis Farm Shop. Smoke meat and fire. Ben and Ellis Farm Shop um, is where Morgan's Butchery is, where our meat comes from. Uh, for our classes. John Pritchard. Morning, John in Norfolk. Uh, Getting good at this. Happy Gills. Grill with Bill. Grill with Bill. Don't know who Grill with Bill is. Uh, cool. <laughs> Boppity Bopper. Boppity Bopper, like that one. <laughs> Uh, Jane McKenzie, Jane Bleakley. Morning, Jane and Jane. Dean Snow. Wow. Morning, Hello, Dean. People. Haven't seen you in ages. Cool. Right. Sorry if I've missed anyone. So, I'm going to stick those oh. onto that. Here's some I made earlier. Wait. Oh, look at you. And let them just cool down a little bit. And then we'll deep fry them. Right. Let's go back to our other sauces and stuff. Right. They can go back in the fridge for now. <coughs> And help myself to some American champagne. There was a lot of that time yesterday. Oh God, it was so hot yesterday for the class, but a good class, really nice people. Um, yeah, loved it. Right, Andy, here we go. So those onions should start to soften up. They are, look at those. Nice, so I'm, you could do this inside on your hob. I'm gonna, mm, yep. Um, I, say, I was just saying, um, Crispies. Hey? Crispies. Crispies, it was. So we had um, Tim from Crispies, the owner of Crispies, um, here yesterday. Is that what Sue should come back with? Lovely. Right, into that, I'm going to add, so we can get, otherwise we'll never make all of these. I'm rushing it a bit, but um, some tomato. So it's just one tomato chopped up, some pine nuts. Get those in there. We need some herbs. I'm just going to grab those. A little bit of um, cinnamon, a little bit of allspice. So it was half a teaspoon of cinnamon, a quarter of a teaspoon of allspice. We'll get those in. Get that, and this is going to be the topping for our pizza. So I'm going to give that a couple of minutes. Get them in. Oh, it's looking good. Can we get a bit of salt and pepper on that? Just to season it, so give me a second. Salt. A bit of salt going in. This is just boiling. If you look at that, it's just starting to boil, Andy. Uh, a little bit of pepper. Good stuff. Right. Now, you don't normally cook with the lid open, but hey. Right, this is looking nice. I'll give that a couple of minutes, I'll roll out some filling. Uh, not some filling, some dough. Okay, do you want to do another little recap? Um, <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
do you want to do it? I can say, <laughs> well, I can say if you want. Yeah, um, yeah, you so can. we are making some sweet potato kind of wedgie fries with a nice zingy uh, rub. We are making Turkish pizzas, which are going to be filled with a uh, spicy mince filling. And then lamb mince. Lamb mince. And then we are making bitter ballon, or bitten ballon, which are like small potato. Well, no, they're not, sorry. Small croquettes, which is like we make, we make a roux sauce, which we did last night, and then we add some mince into it. Um, We're so going to do the roux in a minute. We're just doing it all backwards yeah. because that's the way I'm going to do it today. Because you've got to cool them and cool the roux and so on. So I'm just putting some flat. Easy, oh, dead easy. Yeah, I mean, we finished a class last night, what, six, 6.30? Yeah, I've been doing it a quarter to nine last night. Yeah, we just slung it together late last night. Oh, right. someone's asked, can we do churros one night? Churros? We've done churros before. Have we done them on the live mm, no. Yeah. Yeah, we could do them again. Right. This should make 24 really mini fun. pizzas. So we're not, I'm not going to make hundreds of them, I'll make two or three. So that's probably too big. So I'm going to break a few bits off, that's probably double, that's probably two. So, so we've got Blaze have just joined. Morning Blaze. And Bonk and Co have just joined. Morning Bonk and Co. So is that Rebecca or Alex or who knows? I think it's Rebecca. Did this last time, didn't I? Got it. So our friend uh, Bopper de Bopper uh, Ooh, is uh, that a bit smaller. asked if we could do um, the Spanish churros. Churros, we'll do churros. Churros are dead easy. Right, little pe little um, pieces of dough. So even smaller than that, I think. Um, these are gonna be like little boats. That's the idea that you put that filling into. Have you had to practice one of those? Obviously. Just don't give it away yes we're doing it live for the first time on camera the, normal the, services oh, resumed yeah. the last couple of weeks have just been absolutely mad I mean mad in a good way you're all buying stuff I'm doing lots of installs I was in Leeds this week to install a, a beautiful big green egg in a, in, a, in a fear thing on Monday I'm off to do a, a, a tomato space on Tuesday we've got scaffolding going up on Wednesday oh who knows Oh yeah, Wednesday I'm decorating. On Thursday, oh, who knows? Oh. Right, I'm gonna roll these out into little ovals. Oh, who's that joined? Emilio has just joined. Good morning, Hi, Emilio. Lovely. A neighbour. Yeah, and who had a barbecue problem the other day, day and said, Nick knows what he's doing with barbecue, I'll give him a shout. And it was all about gas bottles and regulators. <laughs> uh, I had to explain that we are charcoal only in this household, and uh, but we did have a bottle to sort him out. So, and he sent us a lovely bottle of wine, which we, which we necked. Which we so thank you, Emilio. And we also met this gorgeous. Uh, oh yeah, brand lady. new so Sophie. Sophia. Sophia. Six day old I knew, your baby. I knew She's I'd get that wrong. And his lovely wife. Yeah. We don't know your wife's name. We should do, because she did tell me one day in the car park and I've forgotten. Anyway, that's terrible, isn't it? So We're gonna apparently make a, a peed is a Turkish boat. Did you know that? That's why they're called peas. Ah, didn't know that. Yes. Rob's barbecue told us that and Sue. Well done, Rob. Well done, Sue. Should have read more into this, shouldn't I? They've probably done them on their cooks. So have you done these, Rob? Am I doing them right? Tell me. Because I haven't actually read the instructions. Are you gonna do a dance? No, do a dance. Well, Rob normally does a little dance on his Oh, he does. He's a, uh, mm, yeah. <laughs> a dubious dance. <laughs> oh, that, that sounds terrible. No, I mean, it's not, they're not bad. Well, they are bad. It's just his <laughs> dancing's terrible. <laughs> I'm going to dig myself a big hole, aren't I? Um, anyway. Right. So we've got our filling for our Boats, peeds. I'm gonna take that out. Right, I'll move that one over. We'll grab that in a minute. So here is our filling for our little pizzas. Now, I'm gonna put them onto a bit of baking paper because it will just make things easier. So I'm gonna do my usual, usual trick. Fold, fold, fold the middle, fold again. Grab a pair of scissors that are here somewhere. I'll grab a knife. Right, we're good. So we now we have a baking stone shape. 
And what we're going to do is, I probably should have wet these. Let me grab a little bit of water in here just to pull them up. Talk about winging it. So just going to wet the fronts of them and the back of them. And then we're going to pull them up into a boat shape, a bit like that. And then fill the middle with some filling. A uh, little spoon, that's what I'm looking for. They're hidden by the big spoons. Made a gondola. Yeah, well, sort of, yeah. <laughs> Thanks for that, yeah. It's not what you're telling me, it's the wrong shape. No, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm impressed you've even got that bit. Yeah. Are we getting, am I getting grief? No, no, no. I hope so. No. You should be giving me grief because I am literally winging this. Oh, that one's come unstuck. Have you done these, Sue? Am I doing it right? Sue's bound for them. Rob's done them, but he said he put them on the rock box. Yeah, I did think about doing them in the Della Vita over here, um, which I should have done, really. But um, we didn't. We're doing them like this. So chuck them in the egg on a baking stone. Now, there's obviously way too much filling for the number of these that I've got. Because that's because you're supposed to make 24 of them. But I just don't have time for that. Right, so... We're pulling that one up, make our little boat. Like those, yeah, we'll get Sol and Lexi doing this later. We've got our nieces and nephews and everyone coming over this afternoon. To stay the night, which will be good fun. Which means it's gonna get messy. <laughs> right, grab my pizza peel. Here we go, right. Our egg is at 270. That'll do, it's nice and warm. Just gonna squeeze them together a bit more. Filling everyone, everywhere. And we'll just slide it in. So it's set up, baking, uh, com uh, convector feet up, stainless steel grid, baking stone, my favorite way of doing pizzas. They can go on. And we'll have a look at those in about six or seven minutes, five minutes. Alexa, set a timer for five minutes. That's Siri you'll find. She knows. Oh. oh. Five minutes. There you go. Get you. Oh, will you be glazing them with melted butter when they come out? No. <laughs> Is that, am I supposed to be doing that? <laughs> uh, is somebody taking the mickey? No, no, Robert. Not. No, Robert. the recipe I've, I'm using, no, I'm not. I am going to put some, um, some uh, uh, Greek yogurt on them and some um, coriander. Parsley, sorry. Uh, I need a wipe just to clear this down. Well, about 270 wipes in that case. They never come out in ones, do they? Anyone else have that problem? Right, and then we'll get on to this next part of making our roof. I'm making a mess here. I don't know why I'm wiping it down. I don't think I actually need it, do I? Probably really will. Right. Good. <laughs> Someone's Alexa's just set a timer for five minutes. Yeah. Because <laughs> you said it. That happens all the time. I was watching myself back on video the other day because occasionally I watch through the videos to see that they do work out and uh, yeah, it set the timer. That was quite funny. Right, this is going a bit quick now. So I'm going to turn it down. I opened it up a little bit just before because it wasn't going very quickly. So let's give these a zhuzh and grab a little glove. All the gloves always migrate to somewhere where you don't want them. On that seat, look. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oop. So, getting a nice browning them off on the bottom, which is what we want. Softening up, they're looking good. This egg is way too hot, so I'm going to turn it down now. It is screaming along. Right. I'll leave a glove there. Let's get our sauce. So have a look at that, Andy, boiling away nicely. I want my jug, I want my sieve, which is here. So I want all of those veg in there for my roux. I'm just grabbing a pan, but I want the juice so I can make a roux. So I'm just gonna sieve my veg out. 
into that thing. I'm just going to get a spoon to get the last remnants out. Another wooden spoon. Because we we're going to put this back into, I don't want to make the roux with it in, but I do want to put it back into the roux in a little bit. Okay. So, got those put all off to one side. I'm going to put my pan back on. Um, I'm going to get some butter. So I've got 25 grams of butter and we need to start melting that which won't take long because our egg is screaming hot, which is good. What was that funny chicken type stuff that you saw last time? Funny chicken type that stuff? Gizzard that stuff. stuff. Oh, gizzards. Oh, gizzards. No, right, no. No, they're not. I think no. we were trying to find chicken hearts, weren't we? Yeah, we were looking for chicken hearts, but there isn't a big um, market for chicken hearts. They all get sent over to Asia, apparently, which is kind of why I was trying to do them. But... So, butter, um, using these T. Falangino pans, butter is melting down really nice and quick on this egg. So while that's fin that'll be done in a second, I'm gonna grab some flour. So I've got 25 grams of flour here. So that can go in. I've got a little whisk rather than my spoon. And I'm just gonna whisk that in to make, just to cook off that flour a little bit in the butter. Now, again, you could be doing this bit inside. Where well, it's dry and warm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Andy. <laughs> Do you know, you, what, you're glad to be back. Oh, um, yeah. With me calling you Andy instead mm -hmm. of Andrea. Yeah. Well, that's right, so I've got a little earworm from Alexis. Andrea, is she on? <laughs> uh, Sarah's on, yeah. Ah, there you go. So I'm going to put a little bit of our stock in and then we'll mix it. You can see it thicken straight away. Put a bit more of our stock in. Mix it. I'll try not to splash you, Andrea. That's all right. Yeah, it wouldn't be all right if I did. You're right. <laughs> a bit more of our stock in. Now, what we want to make is a thick roux. So in that goes. Obviously, our egg is getting hotter and hotter and hotter, so I'm going to tip the last bit in. Bring this over to one side. Just gonna pull the door at the bottom shut a little bit. It'll help me a little bit. Mix it because we don't want it lumpy. There we go. So we now have a nice thick, and I'm gonna take it off for a second while this egg gets back under control. Let's just turn it down. So we've got a nice thick brown roux there. So that is ready for our other ingredients. So I can pop back in now our veg that we use to flavour it. Should try and get rid of the bay leaf. And then to it, I'm gonna add some mince. So 175 grams of, uh, of beef mince this is. So that goes in. And we're gonna put this back on to cook through then. And this is what, this is the roux that I um, I balled up a minute ago. So let's get that back in. Now I'm gonna have to watch this like a hawk because this egg is absolutely screaming hot. There's not remembering to burp it. Um, right. Let's have a look what's going on here. Oh, look at those. Oh, that one unfolded. That one's unfolded. I didn't do it. I should have done them a bit thinner. Right. Give them another minute. Let's have a look at our wedges. Any questions, Helena? Uh, no. Uh, no. Browning up oh, nicely. They smell nice. Yeah, they're going to be good. Right. Let's go. I'm going to get those off, I think. What the Turkish? The, the Turkish pizzas. Yeah. And then we'll do the other bits. So they're not held together properly. Oh, well. Let's have a look at the bottoms. Well, they, they're nice. Let's get them out. Well, not quite boat shaped, but not bad. We need practice. 
Oh, it'll smell nice. Yeah, it smell delicious. Now you could just do a little flat and round. Don't have to be both Ooh, boat shape. So I'm losing my, uh, losing my paper there. We'll do some more. We'll get, we'll get some better ones this afternoon. So to those, we're going to add a little bit of Greek yogurt on the top. And somebody's going to have to have one, but Can I? the others, the yeah. others, right, not yet. Okay. Not yet. You've got to leave that one because that's the most boat shape. You can have one of the flat ones. We've got to get photos of them. Uh, that's not the, yeah, that's for that. I've got a little bit of chopped up coriander. Is coriander or parsley? I can't remember that. Over the top. There we go. There's loads more for the others. That's cool. I'm just going to check this, Andrew, and get okay. it going. I don't want to burn it because it is very hot in there. That's all right. We've got it back under control. So it's just cooking that mince through now. And then what we'll do is take this sauce out, uh, this roux out. You put it in the fridge to cool down and then you can roll it. So that's why we made it last night. And we rolled them into those balls. Right, don't let me forget it. No. Those are nearly ready. Let's yeah. do this. Okay. So what I want to do, covered in... Get these. And over here in this egg, as usual, and I say it every time, set to 140 degrees. Mm -hmm. Oil temp, hopefully 175, 180, exactly where I want it. And now we're going to put these in. Now, I'm not going to put too many in because I don't want it to cool down too fast. So I'll put, let's put six in. These are going to take three or four minutes now to cook. So we'll let those go and then we'll do the next batch. So let's see how done our potatoes are. I'm just going to use a thermopen to poke them to see if they're soft. Oh, they're soft. Oh, yeah. Soft with a crunchy outside. I'm going to cool those. Let's bring the thing over because that will probably be easier. Little presentation plate. So good news, we're getting our new handles on Tuesday. Um, so we're getting new handles for the eggs made by George who made this beautiful board. I must get that up on the website. I'm gonna put some on, I'm not gonna put them all on. But these, basically I had them cooking for about 15 minutes before we went live just so that we could get them going um, so they can finish. So let's take those over. And then we will grab, give these a shush over here. Need a little bit more. I'm going to open the bottom a little bit just to heat it up. Another two minutes I reckon on those. So, Helena, any questions? No, What do you want? Oh, I'm not here next week, so I won't be, I'm not going to say what do you want us to cook next week. Well, I have asked, I've had churros. Churros, yeah. Well, let's do churros next time, that's easy. Chicken heart skewers. Apart from I can't get chicken hearts. And, um... I'll try again, Moroccan. I'll try. Moroccan. Moroccan. Oh, I like Moroccan. Oh, what would you like, Moroccan? Don't know. Someone suggested a, a holiday. Mm. <laughs> that would go down well, Andy, yeah. Oh, I forgot to put in, um, should have put in a bit of Worcester sauce and some nutmeg into our uh -oh. room. So let's just do that. Sorry. So, a few dollops of Worcester sauce. And I've got a little um, grater. She's trying the goods. Is she eating them? Yeah. She nicked one. I've what just read nicked? her comment. I can confirm the sweet potatoes oh. taste yum. We're grafting. Yeah, and she's already eating. <laughs> What are, the, what are the little pizza boats like? I haven't had the pizza boats. Not yet. No. So a little bit of nutmeg in there. Right, let's give it another uh, little zhuzh round. Oh, that nutmeg, you can smell it. Oh, up. yeah, that's yeah. kicked in. Yep. And now I need to get the parsley in there. Nice. So, 
grab that. And a bit of garlic as well. So uh, clove of garlic, clove and a half of garlic, some parsley in there. And we'll just finish zhuzhing that. Good. And we'll leave that just to finish cooking out and then we can cool it and we'll have those for our tea. We're going Spanish tonight. We've got all sorts of tapas. Love. But we're doing German tapas. That's what I'm calling it. There we go. Oh, look, look at them. So I'll go and grab a plate. Now these are going to be red hot. Um, they take about four minutes. Everything's cooked already, so we we'll get those out. Using the spider. Using the spider, yeah. Those are coming out, so let's get... I might as well put the whole last lot on and turn the egg up, see what happens. So just roll them down the side away from you. Don't let us forget them. Perfect. Right. So someone just asked, do you use the oil again? Yes. <laughs> this was used on a cook two weeks ago. Um, not one of our cooks, but it's been in, I just leave it in the barbecue. It's uh, probably not good, but, but yes, always. Now, what I have forgotten is you're supposed to serve these with English mustard. But there you go. I think we're done. Our pizza boats aren't, haven't, we need to practice on those, but you get the idea. So this is going to end in tears, isn't it? Don't so, drop your balls. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Andy. <laughs> Sweet potato fries. Uh, so just roasted off. Then we've got our Turkish pizza, pizza boats um, that haven't stayed boat shape. I need to work on that. And then our bitten barren. So um, croquettas almost, a roux. I'm going, to, I'm going to cut through one of these so you can see it. Just so you can, oh, he's noisy. He's really noisy, isn't he? Yeah. Cut through so you can see what the inside looks like. Um, okay, so someone um, has just asked, they've just received their wok, what's the best way to season it? Uh, there is a video on my YouTube channel. Oh. So if you look on the YouTube channel, it shows you how to do it exactly. But um, get some rapeseed oil, get it nice and hot, Wipe it out with some, uh, with a, um, so put a bit of rapeseed oil in there, wipe it around, get the wok really hot, it will smoke, it will burn. Uh, take it off, wipe it down, put more oil in, repeat three times, and it will turn the whole inside from that lovely silver colour that comes out, it will all go black. Um, and then that forms a plasticised almost um, covering for it. Um, yeah, it would be epic. Your tube. <laughs> Take a look at our your tube. <laughs> oh, sorry. Your tube? <laughs> My tube, is it? I'm sorry. She's trying to steal these. So uh, I'm going to steal one of these and let you know what I like. Ooh. Oh, very good. You're nice. Mm. Need a little bit of salt. But, mm. really good. So I'll cut another one so you can steal a bit. Make it look pretty. I can have that one for the cooler. Yeah. There you go. How was that? What time are we at? Nice. <laughs> a little bit of salt. A little bit of salt. I'm going to put a bit more salt in the, in the room on this one. So we've got another one. Cooking away nicely. There you go. So some left over for this afternoon. Since we're going to have... How many of us are going to be here today? Eight? Something like that. Seven or eight. That's not, that's done. The meat's cooked, the, the roux's cooked. What I should do is just check it for seasoning. So I'm just going to grab a spoon. Which we didn't do last night, obviously, because it needs a little bit more. That's better. Oh yeah, might put a bit more pepper in. Zhuzh them up. But yeah, you're supposed to serve it with English mustard. So there you go. Sweet potato fries, Turkish pizza boats, bit and ballon, uh, all in less than 40 minutes. That was pretty quick. Must get those off before we burn them. Yes. So have a great week, people. <coughs> I'm, I'll be around uh, Tuesday. I'll be painting Wednesday. 
Thursday I've got to be here, there's something else going on. Uh, I'm getting a delivery. The panels. Yeah, oh, and our solar panels are going in. Friday, install. yeah. Friday, May, yeah, an install, and uh, then I'm going away. Leaving Helen a tour with dads and kids camping. There's 130 of us, I think, going. So it's just dads and kids, and they invite me even though we've got no kids, which is kind of cool. So, right, we're going to carry on, but um, have a great week, people, and thank you for watching. Cheers. <laughs>